A leap year, also known as an intercalary year or bisextile year, is a calendar year containing one additional day or in the case of lunisolar calendars, a month added to keep the calendar year synchronized with the astronomical or seasonal year. Because seasons and astronomical events do not repeat in a whole number of days, calendars that have the same number of days in each year drift over time with respect to the event that the year is supposed to track. By inserting also called intercalating an additional day or month into the year, the drift can be corrected. A year that is not a leap year is called a common year. For example, in the Gregorian calendar, each leap year has 366 days instead of 365, by extending February to 29 days rather than the common 28. These extra days occur in years which are multiples of four with the exception of centennial years not divisible by 400. Similarly, in the lunisolar Hebrew calendar, Adar Aleph, a 13th lunar month, is added seven times every 19 years to the 12 lunar months in its common years to keep its calendar year from drifting through the seasons. In the Baha'i calendar, a leap day is added when needed to ensure that the following year begins on the vernal equinox. The name, leap year probably comes from the fact that while a fixed date in the Gregorian calendar normally advances one day of the week from one year to the next, the day of the week in the 12 months following the leap day from March 1st through February 28th of the following year will advance two days due to the extra day thus leaping over one of the days in the week. For example, Christmas Day December 25th fell on a Sunday in 2016, and Monday in 2017, then it will fall on Tuesday in 2018, and Wednesday in 2019 but then, leaps, over Thursday to fall on a Friday in 2020. The length of a day is also occasionally changed by the insertion of leap seconds into Coordinated Universal Time UTC, owing to the variability of Earth's rotational period. Unlike leap days, leap seconds are not introduced on a regular schedule, since the variability in the length of the day is not entirely predictable. <inaudible> <inaudible> Gregorian calendar In the Gregorian calendar, the standard calendar in most of the world, most years that are multiples of four are leap years. In each leap year, the month of February has 29 days instead of 28. Adding one extra day in the calendar every four years compensates for the fact that a period of 365 days is shorter than a tropical year by almost six hours. Some exceptions to this basic rule are required since the duration of a tropical year is slightly less than 365.25 days. The Gregorian reform modified the Julian calendar's scheme of leap years as follows. Every year that is exactly divisible by 4 is a leap year, except for years that are exactly divisible by 100, but these centurial years are leap years if they are exactly divisible by 400. For example, the years 1700, 1800, and 1900 are not leap years, but the year 2000 is. Over a period of four centuries, the accumulated error of adding a leap day every four years amounts to about three extra days. The Gregorian calendar therefore drops three leap days every 400 years, which is the length of its leap cycle. This is done by dropping February 29 in the three century years multiples of 100 that cannot be exactly divided by 400. The years 1600, 2000 and 2400 are leap years, while 1700, 1800, 1900, 2100, 2200 and 2300 are common years. By this rule, the average number of days per year is 365 plus 1 quarter minus 1 one hundredth plus 1 four hundredth equals 365.2425. The rule can be applied to years before the Gregorian reform the proleptic Gregorian calendar, if astronomical year numbering is used. The Gregorian calendar was designed to keep the vernal equinox on or close to March 21, so that the date of Easter celebrated on the Sunday after the ecclesiastical full moon that falls on or after March 21 remains close to the vernal equinox. The accuracy section of the Gregorian calendar article discusses how well the Gregorian calendar achieves this design goal, and how well it approximates the tropical year. Topic. Algorithm The following pseudocode determines whether a year is a leap year or a common year in the Gregorian calendar and in the proleptic Gregorian calendar before 1582. 
The year variable being tested is the integer representing the number of the year in the Gregorian calendar. The tests are arranged to dispatch the most common cases first though this pseudocode is not entirely optimized. Peer-reviewed code e.g., optimized leap year test for C-like languages is important when implementing a leap year test in specific programming languages. Computer programmer errors have resulted in numerous prominent and costly leap year bugs, including the future year 2100 bug. If year is not divisible by 4 then it is a common year else if year is not divisible by 100 then it is a leap year else if year is not divisible by 400 then it is a common year else it is a leap year note this code is not vetted by a reliable source the algorithm applies to proleptic gregorian calendar years before 1 but only if the year is expressed with astronomical year numbering it is not valid for the bc or bce notation the algorithm is not necessarily valid for years in the Julian calendar, such as years before 1752 in the British Empire. The year 1700 was a leap year in the Julian calendar, but not in the Gregorian calendar. <laughs> leap day February 29 is a date that usually occurs every four years, and is called leap day. This day is added to the calendar in leap years as a corrective measure, because the Earth does not orbit the Sun in precisely 365 days. The Gregorian calendar is a modification of the Julian calendar first used by the Romans. The Roman calendar originated as a lunisolar calendar and named many of its days after the syzygies of the Moon, the new moon calendar or calends, hence, calendar, and the full moon idus or ides. The Nonne or Nuns was not the first quarter moon but was exactly one Nundina or Roman market week of nine days before the Ides, inclusively counting the Ides as the first of those nine days. This is what we would call a period of eight days. In 1825, Idler believed that the lunisolar calendar was abandoned about 450 BC by the Decembers, who implemented the Roman Republican calendar, used until 46 BC. The days of these calendars were counted down inclusively to the next named day, so February 24 was anti diem sextum calendas martius, the sixth day before the calends of March, often abbreviated A. D. V. Cal. Mart. The Romans counted days inclusively in their calendars, so this was actually the fifth day before March 1 when counted in the modern exclusive manner, not including the starting day. The Republican calendar's intercalary month was inserted on the first or second day after the Terminalia A. D. 7 Cal. Mar. February 23. The remaining days of Februarius were dropped. This intercalary month, named Intercalaris or Mercedonius, contained 27 days. The religious festivals that were normally celebrated in the last five days of February were moved to the last five days of Intercalaris. Because only 22 or 23 days were effectively added, not a full lunation, the calends and ides of the Roman Republican calendar were no longer associated with the new moon and full moon. The Julian calendar, which was developed in 46 BC by Julius Caesar, and became effective in 45 BC, distributed an extra ten days among the months of the Roman Republican calendar. Caesar also replaced the intercalary month by a single intercalary day, located where the intercalary month used to be. To create the intercalary day, the existing anti diem sextum calendas martius February 24 was doubled, producing anti diem bis sextum calendas martius. Hence, the year containing the doubled day was a bisextile bissextum, twice sixth year. For legal purposes, the two days of the bissextum were considered to be a single day, with the second half being intercalated, but in common practice by 238, when Censorinus wrote, the intercalary day was followed by the last five days of February, A, D, V, V, I, V, 3 and Pretty Cal. Mart, the days numbered 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28 from the beginning of February in a common year, so that the intercalated day was the first half of the double day. Thus the intercalated day was effectively inserted between the 23rd and 24th days of February. All later writers, including Macrobius about 430, Bede in 725, and other medieval computists calculators of Easter, continued to state that the bisextum bisextile day occurred before the last five days of February. Until 1970, the Roman Catholic Church always celebrated the feast of St. Matthias on A. D. V. Cal. 
Mart, so if the days were numbered from the beginning of the month, it was named February 24 in common years, but the presence of the bisextum in a bisextile year immediately before a. d. v. cal. Mart, shifted the latter day to February 25 in leap years, with the vigil of St. Matthias shifting from February 23 to the leap day of February 24. This shift did not take place in pre-Reformation Norway and Iceland. Pope Alexander III ruled that either practice was lawful. Liber extra 5. 40. 14. 1. Other feasts normally falling on February 25 to 28 in common years are also shifted to the following day in a leap year, although they would be on the same day according to the Roman notation. The practice is still observed by those who use the older calendars. Topic: Synchronized calendars, Bengali, Indian, and Thai. The revised Bengali calendar of Bangladesh and the Indian national calendar organize their leap years so that the every leap day is close to a February 29th in the Gregorian calendar and vice versa. This makes it easy to convert dates to or from Gregorian. The Thai solar calendar uses the Buddhist era B, but has been synchronized with the Gregorian since AD 1941. Julian, Coptic and Ethiopian calendars From AD 8 the Julian calendar received an extra day added to February in years that are multiples of four. The Coptic calendar and Ethiopian calendar also add an extra day to the end of the year once every four years before a Julian 29-day February. This rule gives an average year length of 365.25 days. However, it is 11 minutes longer than a tropical year. This means that the vernal equinox moves a day earlier in the calendar about every 131 years. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Revised Julian calendar. The revised Julian calendar adds an extra day to February in years that are multiples of 4, except for years that are multiples of 100 that do not leave a remainder of 200 or 600 when divided by 900. This rule agrees with the rule for the Gregorian calendar until 2799. The first year that dates in the revised Julian calendar will not agree with those in the Gregorian calendar will be 2800, because it will be a leap year in the Gregorian calendar but not in the revised Julian calendar. This rule gives an average year length of 365.242222 days. This is a very good approximation to the mean tropical year, but because the vernal equinox year is slightly longer, the revised Julian calendar for the time being does not do as good a job as the Gregorian calendar at keeping the vernal equinox on or close to March 21. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Chinese calendar. The Chinese calendar is lunisolar, so a leap year has an extra month, often called an embolismic month after the Greek word for it. In the Chinese calendar the leap month is added according to a rule which ensures that month 11 is always the month that contains the northern winter solstice. The intercalary month takes the same number as the preceding month, for example, if it follows the second month or you, then it is simply called leap second month i.e. simplified Chinese, run or yu traditional Chinese, run or yu pinyin, run or yui. Topic: <inaudible> Hebrew calendar The Hebrew calendar is lunisolar with an embolismic month. This extra month is called Adar Aleph first Adar and is added before Adar, which then becomes Adar Bet second Adar. According to the Metonic cycle, this is done seven times every 19 years specifically, in years 3, 6, 8, 11, 14, 17, and 19. This is to ensure that Passover is always in the spring as required by the Torah Pentateuch in many verses relating to Passover. In addition, the Hebrew calendar has postponement rules that postpone the start of the year by one or two days. These postponement rules reduce the number of different combinations of year length and starting days of the week from 28 to 14, and regulate the location of certain religious holidays in relation to the Sabbath. In particular, the first day of the Hebrew year can never be Sunday, Wednesday or Friday. This rule is known in Hebrew as Lo Adu Rosh, 
LD WRs IE Rosh Hashanah first day of the year is not Sunday, Wednesday or Friday as the Hebrew word adu is written by three Hebrew letters signifying Sunday, Wednesday and Friday. Accordingly, the first day of Passover is never Monday, Wednesday or Friday. This rule is known in Hebrew as lo bedu pesa el bidi w pish which has a double meaning. Passover is not a legend. But also, Passover is not Monday, Wednesday or Friday. As the Hebrew word Bidu is written by three Hebrew letters signifying Monday, Wednesday and Friday. One reason for this rule is that Yom Kippur, the holiest day in the Hebrew calendar and the tenth day of the Hebrew year, now must never be adjacent to the weekly Sabbath which is Saturday, i.e., it must never fall on Friday or Sunday, in order not to have two adjacent Sabbath days. However, Yom Kippur can still be on Saturday. These rules for the feasts do not apply to the years from the creation to the deliverance of the Hebrews from Egypt under Moses. It was at that time cf. Exodus chapter 13 that the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob gave the Hebrews their law, including the days to be kept holy and the feast days and Sabbaths. Years consisting of 12 months have between 353 and 355 days. In Akazidra, in order. 354 day year, months have alternating 30 and 29 day lengths. In a chaser, lacking year, the month of Kislev is reduced to 29 days. In a Malay, filled year, the month of Marcheshvan is increased to 30 days. 13 month years follow the same pattern, with the addition of the 30 day Adar Aleph, giving them between 383 and 385 days. Islamic calendar The observed and calculated versions of the Islamic calendar do not have regular leap days, even though both have lunar months containing 29 or 30 days, generally in alternating order. However, the tabular Islamic calendar used by Islamic astronomers during the Middle Ages and still used by some Muslims does have a regular leap day added to the last month of the lunar year in 11 years of a 30-year cycle. This additional day is found at the end of the last month, Du El Hiya, which is also the month of the Hajj. The Hijri Shamsi calendar, also adopted by the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, is based on solar calculations and is similar to the Gregorian calendar in its structure, with the exception that the first year starts with Hijra. Topic: <laughs> Hindu calendar. In the Hindu calendar, which is a lunisolar calendar, the embolismic month is called Adika Mas extra month. It is the month in which the sun is in the same sign of the stellar zodiac on two consecutive dark moons. Adika Mas occurs once every 33 to 34 months, compensating for the approximately 11 fewer days per year in 12 lunar months than the solar calendar. Thus, Hindu festivals tend to occur within a given span of the Gregorian calendar. For example, the no moon during Diwali festival occurs between mid-October and mid-November. Buddhist calendars in several related forms each a simplified version of the Hindu calendar are used on mainland Southeast Asia in the countries of Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, Myanmar formerly Burma and Sri Lanka. The Hindu calendar also known as Vikram Samvat is used in Nepal as the national calendar. All the official work is done based on this calendar. The calendar followed in some parts of South India mainly in Tamil Nadu is solar. It has a leap year every four years. Baha'i calendar The Baha'i calendar is a solar calendar composed of 19 months of 19 days each 361 days. Years begin at Na Ruz, on the vernal equinox, on or about March 21. A period of intercalary days, called Ami Ha, are inserted before the 19th month. This period normally has four days, but an extra day is added when needed to ensure that the following year starts on the vernal equinox. This is calculated and known years in advance. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Solar Hijri Calendar. 
The Iranian calendar is an observational calendar that starts on the spring equinox and adds a single intercalated day to the last month once every four or five years. The first leap year occurs as the fifth year of the typical 33 year cycle, and the remaining leap years occur every four years through the remainder of the 33 year cycle. The system used is more accurate and more complicated, and is based on the time of the March equinox as observed from Tehran. The 33-year period is not completely regular, every so often the 33-year cycle will be broken by a cycle of 29 years. <laughs> Folk traditions In Ireland and Britain, it is a tradition that women may propose marriage only in leap years. While it has been claimed that the tradition was initiated by St. Patrick or Brigid of Kildare in 5th century Ireland, this is dubious, as the tradition has not been attested before the 19th century. Supposedly, a 1288 law by Queen Margaret of Scotland then age five and living in Norway, required that fines be levied if a marriage proposal was refused by the man, compensation was deemed to be a pair of leather gloves, a single rose, one pound and a kiss. In some places the tradition was tightened to restricting female proposals to the modern leap day, February 29, or to the medieval bisextile leap day, February 24. According to Felton, a play from the turn of the 17th century, the maid's metamorphosis, has it that this is leap year, women wear breeches, a few hundred years later, breeches wouldn't do at all, women looking to take advantage of their opportunity to pitch woo were expected to wear a scarlet petticoat. Fair warning, if you will. In Finland, the tradition is that if a man refuses a woman's proposal on leap day, he should buy her the fabrics for a skirt. In France, since 1980, a satirical newspaper entitled La Bougie du Saper is published only on leap year, on February 29. In Greece, marriage in a leap year is considered unlucky. One in five engaged couples in Greece will plan to avoid getting married in a leap year. In February 1988, the town of Anthony in Texas declared itself leap year capital of the world, and an international leapling birthday club was started. 1908 postcards. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Birthdays. A person born on February the 29th of May be called a leapling or a leaper. In common years, they usually celebrate their birthdays on February 28. In some situations, March 1st is used as the birthday in a non-leap year, since it is the day following February 28. Technically, a leapling will have fewer birthday anniversaries than their age in years. This phenomenon is exploited when a person claims to be only a quarter of their actual age, by counting their leap year birthday anniversaries only, for example, in Gilbert and Sullivan's 1879 comic opera The Pirates of Penzance, Frederick the Pirate Apprentice discovers that he is bound to serve the pirates until his 21st birthday that is, when he turns 88 years old, since 1900 was not a leap year rather than until his 21st year. For legal purposes, legal birthdays depend on how local laws count time intervals. Topic: <inaudible> Republic of China. The Civil Code of the Republic of China since October 10, 1929, implies that the legal birthday of a leapling is February 28th in common years. If a period fixed by weeks, months, and years does not commence from the beginning of a week, month, or year, it ends with the ending of the day which precedes the day of the last week, month, or year which corresponds to that on which it began to commence. But if there is no corresponding day in the last month, the period ends with the ending of the last day of the last month. <laughs> Hong Kong Since 1990 non-retroactively, Hong Kong considers the legal birthday of a leapling March 1 in common years. The time at which a person attains a particular age expressed in years shall be the commencement of the anniversary corresponding to the date of their birth. Where a person has been born on February 29 in a leap year, the relevant anniversary in any year other than a leap year shall be taken to be March 1. This section shall apply only where the relevant anniversary falls on a date after the date of commencement of this ordinance. See also 
Century leap year Calendar reform includes proposals that have not yet been adopted. Leap second Leap week calendar Leap year bug Sanskalatides Summer Olympic Games, which have been held in each leap year since 1896 and also in 1900, which was not a leap year UEFA European Championship, which have been held in each leap year since 1960 Zeller's congruence <laughs>